Good morning, bosses. How are you doing? I'm here once again in our house in Hollywood and I'm not going to give you another tour because the house is exactly how it was a few months ago. As I told you in previous videos, we had to stop the construction because we were in the middle of changing finance when the coronavirus hit us. And of course, when that happened, uh, the uh, banks just stopped financing construction. We took three months to refinance uh, Lighthouse Point and that was easier because it was a, a, the, the house was completed and this one we are suffering a little bit more i had as you saw in my videos if you follow me for a few time a long time you saw that we I, I came here like for this is the fourth or fifth appraisal that we paid for and we have someone here and um but this time looks like they are, the guys are actually moving forward the problem with the other ones that the amount of money they, they would lend us was less than we needed, so it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to to uh, change loans for a loan that doesn't cover all my expenses. And this one, this one, it seems to be good. So the appraiser was here. Always they like the house. All oh, right, big boat there. You can't see with that lenses, and people are getting ready to uh, leave. And the size of the boat can get in the ocean. So as I was saying, the appraiser liked the house. He uh, is very confident about the value and that's going to help us with the uh, lender and that's it. Nothing much that I can say about this. The house is beautiful. We are uh, very motivated to sell it. Uh, even under construction we are giving a great price uh, but it is what it is. And right now I need to go to Coral Springs where I'm going to talk to a fellow that is Brazilian and he's interested in the Baltimore properties that we uh, that I have been advertising a lot and it's going to be a 40 minutes ride because my car needs a new engine so I'm riding my bike which is down there and uh, okay let me put everything back on my bag right here and go to Coral Springs because today it's a beautiful day. In 2019 I finished a residential building in Bay Harbor Island. This year, I just started the renovation of a 20-unit multi-family project. In the first half of 2020, I'm going to deliver two luxury homes. One in Hollywood and another one in Lighthouse. So subscribe to my channel and follow my journey in the luxury real estate market. The reason I cut the vlog directly to my car is because it's already 5 p.m. I couldn't or I didn't remind and I couldn't record anything today because I was on my bike. I was traveling from Hollywood to Coral Springs. Then to Coral Springs, the meeting there was not very good because I was talking to someone that at first looked like something that someone that uh, I could do business with or be a part of. Uh, do some kind of not partnership in the sense of me and him opening a, a new company but being associates of somehow and uh, he refers me uh, deals and everything after 45 minutes um, listening to what he had to say I don't think I don't think it's going to be a very good match because I'm looking for something else and then I came home another one almost one and a half hour travel from Coral Springs down here to Bay Harbor I lost myself in the way so yeah it was a mess and then I was home I was taking care of other things I had to do some financial stuff I had to do some client feedback uh, Brownie had his uh, trainer coming Brownie had his trainer coming uh, the apartment that we live on that is rented uh, had some showings so yeah it was a mess I couldn't vlog today but I want to address something that I started yesterday and I want to uh, evolve a little bit more on this which is fasting on yesterday's vlog I told you that I was fasting a 24 hour fast and the reason I decided to do this was uh, actually the reasons were a lot of them number one I've been un happy with my looks for a while now I'm fatter than I wish, wish I was 
I always wanted to have some kind of physique, but I never really worked towards it in terms of working out and uh, eating better. So that became a problem and I was just tired of always promising promising myself something and always letting me down last year i've told i already addressed this in several vlogs also last year i hired a very fancy and a very expensive very well-known uh, nutritionist because i was doing triathlon i want to uh, i wanted to be a better triathlete so she she gave me a plan and i didn't stick stuck to the plan and three weeks ago we had our second to last meeting and she said Daniel you need to create a habit you have four weeks to do this we're going to talk back on June 11th you need to do this so I was doing I was creating the habit of eating four times a day but I was not eating healthy anyway so this weekend where I was completely out of balance, I was very anxious, I was very nervous because of job, because of things that we were doing, because the closing of the loan of our housing lighthouse point and I just ate a lot, drank a lot and as usual I was not eating or drinking healthy and I was not sticking to the plan that my nutritionist gave me. So I went back four years ago when my cousin, which is a doctor in Brazil, he's a very um, um, a very good doctor, an excellent doctor, and, and he works with a fitness, health, and uh, anti-aging uh, medicine. And he introduced me to fasting four years ago when he told me, look, this is the best way, this is how our body was shaped mill millions of years ago, and this is the healthiest way to eat if you fast and eat the right things you want to do it you will be able to do it and you're going to be very healthy and you're going to achieve your goals i tried at first but it, uh, um, uh, since having meals is such a part of our culture we have meals with our family with our friends with our clients i didn't stuck with it for more than two weeks and i went back again so in this my last plan with my nutritionist the first idea was to eat three times a day. I couldn't do it. I was not eating enough to uh, make myself full or too anxious and, and, and just eating. Um, it started a chain reaction to want to eat more. So last, this weekend I told myself, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fast. I'm going to fast because if eating is triggering me to eat more, I'm going to just fast and eat one time a day the things that I should eat. So that's what I'm trying to do this week. This is day two. Today's right now is 5 p.m. So I'm already 21 hours in. Uh, in three hours, I need to eat. I actually allow myself a, a three-hour window to eat. So from uh, 10, uh, from 7 to 10. Uh, yesterday I ate at 7. Um, so that's the reason that's the way I'm going to do it I'm going to fast from uh, Monday to Friday and during the weekends I'm going to eat four times a day or three or four times a day most likely four because I always have breakfast with my wife I always lunch with my wife then we want to do some uh, afternoon snack and then we do our our dinner um, so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, stick with it um, I, I know it's like a fake fasting because I'm not doing every day but I'm doing five times a week and five times a week it's much better than anything I've ever done and I believe that one of my mind one of my thinking was okay if, if, if you wanna if you have someone that is an alcoholic what do you do so they don't um, so they don't have the disease anymore or they control their they control their addic addiction um, you remove the alcohol from from them we can remove the food from us but if eating causes me this trigger to eat more I'll just try to eat once a day so that's what I wanted to say um, I think this will make me happy I'm f I feel more energetic uh, actually uh, these two days I feel I felt more energetic and the key thing for me to don't uh, freak out 
to eat just one time a day is keep myself busy. So I'm always constantly think, keeping myself busy with work, with stuff in the house, with the dog, with my wife, everything that I can make myself busy with, I do it because if I stop, if I sit on the couch to watch TV, I know I will want to eat and I don't want that. So sorry today's vlog was just me talking about a lot of stuff in a very rapid speed but it is what it is today is day two tomorrow i want to address with you uh, the things that i'm changing in my career i also addressed it very quickly yesterday talking about um uh, how i'm structuring my new company with three or four segments three segments with four uh, fields of uh, of business which includes luxury yacht and uh, tomorrow I'll start to talking talk to you about a little bit because in the end this this YouTube channel serves a purpose to uh, make you know me better because if you want to do business here in the US or if you are here in the US and want someone to uh, build your home buy or sell your properties or find seller for your property or invest in real estate investments uh, like multifamily or the uh, Baltimore stuff that we are doing uh, this is the gateway for you to know me even before we met so this is why it's very important for me to share everything that is happening and um, I guess for today that's it see you tomorrow bye This is my bike, my daily driver for now.